January 4th, 2014. Um, this is a video a little bit about uh, where we're headed for 2014, I believe. Um, since 2011, we've seen the Earth um, start to do drastic changes. March of uh, March 11th, 2011, Japan gets hit with a 9.0 earthquake that that's basically uh, reshaped their whole island and destroyed 28,000 people. That's what we've been told so far. I mean, I'm sure there's probably more than that, but that's what they've told us. Um, Fukushima disaster is still going on, and countless people have been poisoned and died around these nuclear plants that uh, uh, exploded. So... That's still going on. We have around 80 tons plus of nuclear wastewater going into the Pacific Ocean. The ocean as we speak today, along the west coast, a uh, good chunk of uh, the sea life, if you uh, go to the bottom of the ocean along the coastlines, most of 98% of the fish um, that go through those areas are laying dead on the bottom of the ocean floor. Now, is that just a coincidence, or is it Fukushima, or is it something else? I don't believe in coincidences, so I just, uh, you know, if you got 80 tons of toxic waste going into the ocean, nuclear waste, uh, it's bound to have an effect on the fish life. That's just common sense. Uh, the other thing is, is that um, the United States government here a couple of days ago ended up buying, um, purchasing about 14 million uh, tablets, um, iodine tablets for a nuclear fallout. Now, I don't know if it's Fukushima or if it's something else, but they purchased 14 million of them. Um, that's a lot. That's going on. Uh, the other thing that's going on for 2014 is, is that our precious president has uh, enacted more executive orders on gun laws. Uh, if you're what they deemed mental incompetent, um, if they find out that they think you have a mental issue, then they're going to take away your guns. Now let's say, for instance, that they think you're a mental case if you're a prepper or if you love our Lord Jesus Christ, or if you pay cash uh, instead of using uh, credit. Those are all things that can deem you to have mental issues. If you're a conservative or a Tea Party activist, you could also be deemed as uh, mental. Uh, veterans, I feel sorry for you guys and ladies because... That's one of the things they're first going to go after, is the veterans, because they know that the veterans have the ability, uh, um, first off, um, to, to defend themselves against uh, a tyrant. And so we're dealing with that. The other thing that's going on is DHS, NSA. Uh, NSA has got their facility completely set up now that they can monitor, track, um, and scan everyone uh, that's in the United States, perhaps probably the world. Um, if any of you folks don't know anything about the NSA, you need to do research on them and find out how the mark of the beast will be set up. They will be the ones uh, that will monitor all the uh, RFID chips in the near future. They will also be the ones to um, uh, enact uh, law enforcement, they'll know, they'll be able to tell law enforcement where people are at that haven't signed up for the RFID chip. The Obamacare is showing its ugly teeth. It'll start showing it really uh, quick now because we're in the law stage of it. The law stage of it, which means that uh, they're going to start taxing you, fining you, imprisoning you, who people who do not participate in the Obamacare um, program. Um, the financial collapse that's going on right now, the stock market just keeps flying up. 
It's uh, uh, propped up by the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is the one that's creating this false market. Uh, you tell me, folks, if uh, car sales are down 11% in one month and are at their lowest stage um, since 2008, our last uh, collapse, how could our economy turn, be turning around? Uh, a million and a half people fell off unemployment um, December 28th when their benefits finally ran out. They are no longer in the system. And when that happened, a uh, million and a half people went off unemployment, which means that now unemployment's not 7%. It's around 6.5 or 6.8. It's not really 7% anyway. It's more like 30%, but that's what they tell the public. Um, housing, uh, according to Obama and his administration, housing's on the, on the rise. Uh, we're coming out of our slump. Well, why is it that mortgage companies are laying off people right and left? Because they're not having loan applications come through. Um, why is it to where I'm at, ADM, one of the biggest companies in the United States, have been laying off people? And executives being laid off. Why is it that Caterpillar's losing their contracts? And they're, they've been laying people off. Uh, they go back and forth, but they're, they're not, they're not uh, nowhere near being in an upcline in the um, economy. And why is it that our dollar right now is being propped up and then gold is uh, going back and forth? It hovers around the $1,200 price range. Um, it seems like it has a threshold. Right when it gets to about 1200 it tries to go back up. But the government right now is trying to get everybody out of gold and get them into cash and bonds to make it look like the economy's turning around. So the price of gold falls so they can gobble it up. Uh, China, Russia, uh, you, you tell me if, uh, if the economy and our dollar is so strong like the government says it is, then why is everybody dumping the dollar? Why is, Chinese, why is the Chinese right now, they're, they're dumping uh, the dollar as a federal uh, as far as the reserve currency goes for the world uh, petrodollars for most of these countries is the US dollar US dollar is being kicked out and being replaced so if our dollar is so strong why is everybody doing that that's because they can see the they these people know other governments know what we're doing we are falsifying our records, you might say. You know, trying to pretend it's one thing when it's really another. Uh, common sense um, tells us that all you have to do is look at your economy, listen to the people on the street, look at the companies, what they're doing. If they're all laying off, then don't tell me the economy's turning around. Um, so... War is about to break loose, either between one of ten continents. We're in Africa, we're in uh, the Pacific, uh, putting our, our uh, military around certain islands to maybe attack China. Uh, China, since they've dumped the dollar and went with their own currency, uh, that uh, was a state of war to the United States. Any country that dumps the dollar becomes the enemy of the United States. You do research on it, if you don't believe me. Anybody that does not use the American dollar as their main currency is the enemy of the United States. So, China dumped it. All of a sudden now, we don't like China anymore. Is that just a coincidence, or is there something going on here? Yeah, look where they're putting their ships and their fleets. Why is Japan finally coming out of the uh, stage of being a nation of uh, non-war, where now they're uh, passing in their constitution to override since uh, World War II? They weren't allowed to uh, produce mass weapons to defend their country. Now they are uh, canceling that out 
to get ready to go to war against China. China you know, Japan and the United States, Japan uh, uses the American currency. Uh, as their reserve currency. That's why they're friends with us right now. But if they changed their mind and went with the um, Chinese currency, then they would be an all-out enemy of the United States. Also, the United States picks on countries that can't defend themselves. Not on a mass scale. So we're real big and tough when we want to go pick on these little countries. But this time we're going to be going against Russia and we're going to be going against China. That's why it's going to become a world war in the near future. Um, this economy is about to die. I've been saying it since 2011. It does not happen overnight and just uh, like a waterfall, like you're on a ship or a boat and you're going right off the waterfall straight down. It doesn't always work that way. It's piecemeal to death. You lose a little bit here, a little bit there. Next thing you know... You don't know what happened, but you're in the middle of a mass recession or a depression. And you're trying to figure out how you got there. If you weren't paying attention, you'd feel that way. If you're paying attention, you're going to know exactly what they're doing. So um, uh, since 2011, this has been going on um, on a major scale. It's been going on for a long time. But... um, They've, they've ramped it up since 2011. So, 2014, what to look for? Look for a false flag event of some sort to get us to go into martial law to take away our guns. That's one of the big things I think they're going to go after this year. Uh, the second thing is, is watch the dollar, watch gold, watch what they're going to do there, um, and watch the stock market. Stock market has no bearing on the economy. Just realize that. It's a false, um, well, I don't know what the word I want to use here. It's not a false, uh, it's more of a, it's a fake model of how our economy works. And it used to be in the old days, it was something you could use as a gauge. You can't anymore. It's all, uh, you know, held up and manipulated by the Federal Reserve. Is the Federal Reserve going to keep printing money? They say they're going to start backing off a little bit, but that usually means something's getting ready to happen. Then they're going to come back and tell people they're really going to have to print a lot more money because somebody, they're going to blame some foreign country on a false flag event on us. So anyway, there's a lot more to come. I'll do some more videos, uh, a couple more updates. You guys have a great day. Uh, I'll talk to you later.